What's up, nail friends? I got the rose gold nail set back in. And guess what? That nail that I pinched then cracked didn't break. I was so surprised. I totally thought this middle finger would break, but it didn't. So I guess I did secure it properly. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I have this video uploaded to YouTube already. And so make sure you guys check it out. I will leave it in the description box. First things first, I clip off the crystals. So you don't want to file off your crystals. You just want to clip them off. I am taking my e-file bit here. This is a um, carbide bit for filing down acrylic and I'm just gonna file down to the thin clear base that we added before her set last time. I'm using my pinky to hold the nail in place. Do you guys see that? It's kind of hard to see, but I am holding the nail from underneath just so I don't put any pressure on her nail bed. And then I'm just filing this thin. I'm going to now use this to shorten the nails and then I'm just going to keep filing. So I'm trying to get down to her nail, uh, thin clear base that I had before. I'm not trying to rush the process. This is all in real time. That's how all my YouTube videos have been lately. I'm just doing all real time videos because there's so much short form content. It's really hard to follow along when it's quick and short. So that's why I've been doing these videos for you guys, just to make sure that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, I'm just filing each nail down thin and then I'll go back and file more of the product off. But I just kind of go between the nails just so I don't burn my client. Um, so that's what you guys will see here, see me doing here, is going back and forth between the nails, filing thin, and uh, yeah, that's just what I'm doing. File, lift up my file. So every time I go down the nail, I lift up my file. So I'm filing, I lift it up, file, lift file so i'm not going up and down because then it'll go zoom and um skip so my client sends me ideas ahead of time so this is what she sent i thought this would be really uh easy to um what's the word like recreate because i have really similar products to that so that's what we're gonna do today but in her shape that she has here so we're not gonna change the shape to that shape um, so I am just going to continue on filing these down thin and then we will work on our prep. Okay, after filing down, I'm gonna take my hand file. So this is the metal file board. I'm gonna file up and, and under the nails. I'm using a 180 grit file for this. Uh, so these are refills that are garbage after. So you place them on your metal file board. And this is a great board for keeping your shape. So if you do like coffin shape or um, uh, coffin shape or tapered square or square nails it's really great to get that nice sharp shape because it's not as flexible as a hand file so that's what I'm doing here I'm just filing the sides up reshaping the nails before I like to make sure the shape is nice and even before going in um, now we can prep I'm just prepping the nails so I'm pushing back the skin so you're gonna push the cuticle area skin and then we are going to scrape it and then we're going to prep. So uh, you wanna make sure that your cuticle area is prepped properly before you apply because you will just have lifting, like lots of lifting if you don't get all the skin. Like look how much skin she has when I scrape that. That all has to go or else she'll have major lifting. So that's what I'm doing here. Just scrape, scrape, scrape. So now I'm taking this bit. This is from Erica's ATA. I'm going around the cuticle area with this to get all that skin off. This is a really gentle bit. I really, really like using this to get that uh, nail uh, skin off there. Going around. I'm just using this uh, on the on a, like a slow kind of speed. I want to show you guys what speed I use because I get asked that a lot, but my e-file doesn't have the speed listed on it. It just has a dial. Um, so I, 
I will try to show you guys the dial soon and what I'm doing, but I keep forgetting to do that. Um, this is a bit that's for the cuticle area. It just kind of pushes the skin out of the way, which will help for when I am applying. I want no skin or anything in my way, no dust or debris. That's why I'm scrub, scrub, scrub with a scrub brush here and some alcohol. I filed her nails as thin as I could while leaving my clear base. There's a little bit of product left behind, but you're not going to see that with what I'm going to do on top. Now I'm applying some dehydrator at the cuticle area and primer, and then we can go in with application. So the color I picked that was similar to the photo is called Victoria. It is a bright, pretty pink with flakies in it. It is super, super nice. So I'm just going to apply this all over the nail. So since her nails were clear before, and I'm able to get them pretty clear now. Uh, we can use like this nice see-through, not like super opaque glitter color. So that's great. And that's why you should do a clear base is so you can file back down to it and not have any color uh, that's annoying underneath. Um, Cause we are doing colored acrylic. So when you're doing core powder or whatever, you likely will not have color underneath, but we do a colored acrylic for this client, so. Now I'm applying this along the line. I'm just going to gently fade it up. I'm using the tip of my brush to pat the product where I want it. You can see I did leave a little bit of color there that I missed, but like I said, you're not gonna see that when I cover everything up. Um, I'm applying my uh, glitter first, and then I'm gonna use a soft white. I'm actually gonna use Glitter Bell's Porcelain. So it's a white that's like see-through, or it's like, sorry, it's a white that's kind of like a soft white, and it has a little bit of a blue glitter tint in it. It's really, really cool. It's really, really pretty. Um, I'll show you guys that in a bit. So I'm just going, this is how I do nails in real time. So I've applied on the pinky, then I'm doing the next nail, and so on. So I like to do all of the nails, each step together. Um, if I were to apply my um, porcelain, it would kind of probably pull off some product. So I like to have the acrylic dry before my next step. So I'm applying this, placing that down, using my brush to pat and pull the product where I want it, trying to make it nice and thin and even. Place that down, cleaning off my brush, making sure my brush doesn't have product stuck to it where it's gonna be annoying for me. I'm patting that into place, especially around the tip. Trying to get even coverage and then I'm just kind of fading it up on the nail. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more, place that down because there's a little bit of a missing spot there. See, if you play with it too much, you'll move the product. So I did move the product out of where I wanted it. So now I'm just patting it into place, trying to make it nice and even and thin. And then when I get it where I want it, I stop touching it until it dries. You guys will watch me sit here and pat this into place for a while because um, it wasn't thin enough and it wasn't like going exactly where I wanted it. So I'm just sitting there patting and patting and patting, trying to make the product go exactly where I want it at the tip. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing here, pushing and patting. Um, and then when I'm done this nail, I will work on the next nail. I do cut out a little bit of the video because every nail is basically the same until we get to the foil part. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing here, still patting this. <laughs> As you can see, I'm really just patting, patting, trying to get it exactly where I want it. The, I don't want any pieces sticking up, so I'm trying to make them nice and flat. As you can see, I just left a little piece there. After all that work of patting that into place, I left a tiny piece on the tip. So annoying. So now I'm going in, applying a bigger bead, wiping off my brush, and then moving the product where I want it, wiping off my brush, pushing up, and then I'm going to pull the product and pat and pull the product down the nail. Some glitters are a little bit more difficult to work with. Now, I wouldn't say this is a difficult glitter, but it's just not as, it's just, it just seems to be coming up on my brush really easily for some reason, and, and like, it's, it's a see-through color, so, uh, it does kind of, <laughs> you can keep pulling it off. Look right there. It's just like missing product. I was like, what is going on? But um, anyways, so I'm just patting that into place, trying to get it even coverage. I think, um, I think my, the way I filed, I left like some like 
how to say it, like ridges in my clear base under there. And the product was kind of coming out of that, if you know what I mean. It's kind of hard to explain. But that's okay, because I'm gonna, it's gonna end up turning out good in the end. So I'm placing that, flipping my brush upside down and pulling that up, trying to make this nice and even, patting and pulling. And then we're gonna skip oh, the last two nails because it's all the same. And now we're picking up our porcelain. I'm placing that down along the line. So this is where the product, the first bead was. And now I'm just placing that, trying to get even coverage on the sides. And then I'm gently feathering with my brush the product down the pink to kind of cover it a bit. So it's kind of foggy, but I don't want it to go all the way to the tip. I just want it to go halfway down. So I'm going to apply that, leave that, and then I'll come back to it. So that's kind of what I do on every set. I kind of just go back and forth between the nails, let the product dry before moving forward. And here I am placing that down, wiping off my brush, patting that and pushing it into the side area on both sides before I fade it down. Fade, wipe off my brush, fade, wipe brush. And you can see I'm not trying to cover the whole nail. I'm just trying to get it to blend a little bit. Blend, blend, blend and then next nail. And then I will do my cuticle bead after I have done the rest of this. So again, place that down, wipe off my brush. I'm just pushing into it, getting the sides first, and then fade down. Push the side, fade, fade, wipe. And I'm wiping off my brush a lot, just so nothing sticks to my brush, just so I have no monomer in my brush and stuff like that. So that's how that looks. The first two nails were a little blurry when I was applying my cuticle bead, so I just removed it and now we're going to go in. I'm going to place my bead down. I leave a big gap between the product and the cuticle area and then I use my brush to push the product as close as I can to the cuticle area without overlapping the skin. I get my cuticle bead in and then I fade the product down the nail. I want this to be even. And then I will show you guys that again on this nail. So again, I'm going to, everything's dry, which means no product will get pulled off the nail. So I apply that down, leaving a space, cleaning off my brush, pushing up towards the cuticle area. Make sure you never overlap the skin. That will lift if you overlap the skin. Try to get close to the cuticle area, then fade down, wiping off your brush with each fade, getting into that side. If you overlap, quickly clean it off and then blend that down the nail. And then that's how they look so far. And then the fun part is adding in these foils. So I got these foils when Talia, my friend Talia used to have a shop called Flora Nail Shop and she had some foils that were colored. So normally you have gold and silver foil, but this pack had green and blue and purple and pink. So I grabbed the fuchsia and the silver and I grabbed a purple and I tried to match the um, nail inspo design that we had. So I'm placing this where I want it so you can cover up any mistakes you made or anything that's like missing or any like old color left behind. That's what's great about um, adding in foils or adding in things on top so you can like really make the nail look as perfect as you want. So I had a lot of fun doing this design and it was actually a pretty easy design to do. And I didn't want to over add the products. I'm just adding just a little bit of the foils. Isn't that pretty, the foil there? You can see it kind of close up now. The first two nails had fuchsia and silver. And then the next nails are a darker purple and silver. So that's what I'm doing here, the dark purple foil. So you want to use a clear acrylic to pick up your foil and place it just so it will stay exactly where you want it. Because if you just try to apply foil with your brush, and monomer, it's not really gonna stick, so you need that clear acrylic. So here's what that looks like so far. The set is already turning out so cute, and now we can encapsulate everything. So I'm taking my clear acrylic, placing that down just on the tip. So since these are extra long, um, I don't apply at the cuticle area to start. I always wanna get my tip done first because I like a nice even tip. Nothing is worse than when your tip is like, doesn't have enough product on it and then you file into it or it's not shaped correctly 
So I always apply my bead at the tip first. I pat and pull the product down the nail and then I try to get even as even as I possibly can at the very, very tip of that nail. So after I encapsulate that part, I'm gonna go in at my cuticle bead. Again, I'm placing it further back, wiping off my brush, pulling her skin so that I can get in close. And I'm just using the tip of my brush to push the product where I want it and then fading it down. So again, like when I was doing the tip, I don't add more product. I don't want to uh, like pull more product off. So I'm not gonna create, I'm either not gonna create the apex yet, or I added enough product that that created the apex. I end up looking at it after I'm done, the nails on the one hand, and then I add um, more product where needed. So I just like to fully encapsulate everything and then I worry about my apex after, just so I can get everything nice and even and not pull off product and not waste time. So that's what I'm doing. I'm applying at the tip first, patting and pulling into place, and then I'll go in again with my cuticle bead, and then, like I said, add my apex after. So you guys can just watch along and then we will finish file. So here's what they look like so far. I love them. Here's what both hands look like when they're done. And now we can finish file. Um, I'm gonna be using this bit first. So this gets around the cuticle area and the sides. And I use this bit for underneath the nail. It's kind of like a little carbide bit. It just helps get any product that isn't in the right spot. So now I'm showing you guys the dial I remembered. It's very, very, it's on a very light speed. Um, going around the cuticle area, just gently getting that nice and uh, cleaned up there. I'm going to do this on all of the nails. I'm 
And then I have her flip her hand and this client is not trying to grow out her nails. So we are gonna clean up that natural nail from underneath because it can lift and trap water. And we definitely don't want um, any lifting or water underneath the nail. So I'm just gonna remove it for her uh, because she just wears acrylic nails and is not trying to grow her nails out. She is a nail biter. So she would just probably pick this or bite this. So gotta remove it. And then we're gonna go um, in with a carbide bit. So this is a medium carbide. I don't like to use anything too, you know, um, coarse because I'm just doing some debulking with this. So around the cuticle areas when I use the tip and then I'm just using the belly of the carbide to file the rest of the nail. And I have it pulled out. You can see I'm, it's pulled out of my e-file because these nails are extra long. So I don't have it all the way to the end of the e-file. It's kind of pulled out a little bit. And I'm using this to go up and under, around the cuticle area, over the apex. I don't want to remove product from my apex. I really am not trying to remove a lot of product. I'm just debulking so it's easier when hand filing because you don't want to hand file everything or you will hurt your wrists. And you know, this is a long career. You don't want sore wrists. You don't want to get carpal tunnel. And, or anything like that. So definitely use, if you know how to use an e-file, definitely use your e-file to debulk first. After that, I'm gonna go in and hand file everything with my metal file board. So I'm going up and under and cleaning up my side walls to start holding the nail into place when I do that so I don't hurt my client. And then I'm gonna go around the cuticle area and just file everything by hand. Um, and that way I can get everything exactly how I want it and I kind of have a lot more control. I'm gonna hold her nail while I go up and down at the tip. This will create that nice, sharp, um, straight tip. And then I'm holding her nail, going around the cuticle area. Again, I'm trying not to take too much product off, especially at the apex. I'm just trying to even everything out so it's nice and even and clean for or top coat at the end. After I filed with my metal file board, I do come in with a regular hand file because it's more flexible. I'm using a 240 and I just use this to go over everything around the cuticle area and sidewalls and make sure there's no deep, harsh scratches for top coat.
I buffed everything and now I'm going to cleanse again using a dust brush and some alcohol. I'm really going to cleanse really, really well, especially at the cuticle area underneath the nails. I'm trying to get any of the dust off the nails for um, top coat. And then I sit there and I check the lengths to make sure that they're all the same. And then I finish file like any kind of anything that needs filing. So um, that's what they look like so far. And then we can go ahead and top coat everything. So she didn't want crystals because she just didn't this time. And the set turned out like really nice and they didn't need crystals. So I'm going to be using my Glitter Bells No Wipe Top Coat. Um, I'm going at the cuticle area, doing all of the nail first. And then I'm using my finger to kind of make sure that there's no product that seeped on the side of her nails. Because that will make them bulkier and add thickness, which we definitely don't want. We want them nice and thin and even. So I'm going around and then I'm going to use my finger to clean it all up underneath. But make sure you're wearing gloves. Make sure you're wearing gloves when you do this. You don't want to touch product ever with your natural nails or natural skin or fingers. Make sure you're always wearing gloves. Um, I, so I did the two nails since her nails are extra long. I just want to show you guys this. Uh, I don't want to bump anything or have the product, like I said, seep into the sides or anything. So I did two nails, had her cure that, and then I will do two nails on this hand have her cure that and then you know what I mean I go back and forth because I just don't want any extra thickness and I really really like this set and so yeah so here I am wipe making sure I got that um, nice and even I'm using my own finger do you guys see my fingers touching my other finger that's for support I'm using my finger for support because her nails are extra long so I'm going to do that cured that now I'm coming in and finishing off my top coat and I'm going to do that on both hands. And then after all that, we're going to cuticle oil. Okay, so after I've done all her nails and cuticle oil, I have my client wash her hands and here is the finished design. What do you guys think? I'll show you guys how thick they are just so you can see that they're not super thick. So when you're doing nails, they should be about credit card thickness. Um, they, when you're applying, it might look like I'm applying a lot of product, but I'm just doing an encapsulation and creating an apex. The thickness should be credit card thick and your client should have a C curve. So it will be nice and strong. So <laughs> this is how they turned out. And then I'll show you guys what they look like outside in natural light. I really, really like the set. Let me know what you guys think below. I'm going to have her in this week, so I'll probably film her next set. Thanks so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.